Hi, uh, my name is Annie Redmond. I'm a Guinness Brewery Ambassador. Uh, so I cover the Great Lakes region. I'm based in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm here at the, uh, at the trade show. So what I do is I do a lot of distributor work and I'll do more on the education side. So I'll do a lot of staff trainings, uh, why you pour a pint properly, why you take the time to pour a pint properly. Um, and not only talk about Guinness Draft, but also our other beers that um, people might not be very familiar with. So this is actually probably one of the best beers you've almost ever had. It's a Guinness Extra Stout. So it uh, dates back to 1821. This is kind of what made us famous, put us on the map worldwide as a brewer. Uh, this is a carbonated version of the more known Guinness Draft. So this is ex-carbonated, a bit higher in alcohol, 5.6% uh, ABV. Uh, pairs ex extremely well with food. You get a lot of a lot of coffee flavors, a little bit of caramel, um, and it's very uh, very sweet malt flavor as well. We have Guinness Drafts, which I think everybody's the most familiar with. These are actually our um, limited edition Gilroy cans. So John Gilroy was the artist that created all these drawings that you see famously in a lot of Irish pubs and restaurants. So we're doing a, uh, a series of different of his drawings and all these cans. So Guinness Drafts, uh, believe it or not, didn't actually exist until 1959. So the brewery started in 1759 with, a, with 100 pounds down from Arthur Guinness and 45 pounds a year. Uh, so it wasn't until uh, 1959 that Guinness Draft was created. When they tried to put uh, Guinness Extra Stout on draft, uh, it didn't translate very well. It was too lively, too robust. They ended up wasting a lot of beer. So uh, they commissioned a scientist called Michael Ash, who was a Welshman, uh, and they, he created a way of infusing beer with nitrogen. It took him about nine years, and in 1959 he created Guinness Draft. So it was the world's, not only revolutionary for Guinness, but also revolutionary for the world of beer. So it was the world's first nitro beer. So this is our Guinness Blonde. It was the first contract brew that Guinness ever did. It's actually the only beer that's made in the U.S. Everything else that we have from Guinness, Guinness, Smittix, Harp, Extra Stout, uh, Foreign Extra Stout is all made in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, this is the only beer made in the U.S. It's made in Latrobe Brewing in Pennsylvania. Uh, so it's made with uh, the Guinness yeast, which is interesting because uh, the Guinness yeast strain and Guinness draft yeast strain is an ale yeast, but this is a lager. Uh, so it does give it a lot more flavor, a lot of body, more so than a typical American style lager. It's 5% ABV, and they also use uh, mosaic hops, uh, which gives it a nice grapefruit flavor without being overly fruity. Really nice, well balanced, really refreshing, nice beer for the summer. This is our newest one. It's a Guinness Irish Wheat. This is 5.2% ABV, so just a little bit higher than Blonde. Um, and this is made in Ireland as well. Uh, it's made actually, um, was made by uh, a German, German brewer on staff, uh, and it's made in the style of a German Hefeweizen. Uh, so it, you get a lot, of, um, a lot of banana, a lot of clove flavors as you would in a German Hefeweizen, but it's, uh, it's uh, made with the Guinness yeast as well. Um, so that's, uh, that flavor, that yeast does impart a lot of those flavors as well. Uh, so this is made with 100% Irish grown um, wheat, uh, and it's just, just launched in the last month in the US. This is our summer seasonal, yes. So it's gonna be available um, in bottles only. Um, so in the off-premise, off it'll be available in six packs, um, and then obviously in bottles in the on-premise.